Looking for that perfect gift for the holidays or something special for your home? Then come to this weekend's Handmade Arcade. This award-winning indie craft fair features more than 200 vendors, workshops, children's activities, and music. It is so big, it's able to fill the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. And new this year, a way to start your shopping the night before it opens to the general public. Here with more on that and a look at a few of the finds from this year's fair, our Handmade Arcade Executive Director, Trisha Brancolini, and Director of Marketing and Outreach, Jennifer Barron. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Thank great to you. be back. I can't believe it's here again. Yes, I know. I know. Same. A whole year went by. <laughs> I keep saying it too. It's hard to believe a year went by. It goes over. by. These exactly. years go by. They, they yep. do. Yeah. When we start planning the net right after one event ends, we start planning the next event. Mm -hmm. Well, and so you guys got right to work thinking about this new idea, yes, a did. way to give back and to invite people in a day early. Absolutely. Right. So we are now a nonprofit organization and we are launching our first ever fundraiser. It's this Friday. Friday night. Tickets are still available. It's only $30 to support our mission. And you're going to be the first to enter our marketplace with more than 170 vendors out of our total of 239. So most of them. Right, right. exactly. It's um, also proceeds are going to benefit our new Youth Maker Scholarship Program, which supports young makers ages 16 to 18. Our craft corridor for emerging makers who are first time, they're, they're at our event for the first time. Um, our free admission and our free hands on activities. Activities. And this event Friday night is 18, for 18 and up. We're also releasing a new cider that we're, we're, we collaborated with Threadbare Cider in Need, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. called Crafted Apple. So um, our attendees on Friday will be the first to taste that and the first to shop from all the vendors and meet all the makers. Well, it's a fantastic idea to get people in a little bit early, too, mm -hmm. because I know the, the early birdie that you guys typically do is sold, sold out. out. Right. That's right. Yeah. Early birdie is sold out, and the fundraiser is only $30. So if you go right to our website at handmadearcade.org, the ticket page is right there. And I know this is something that's been featured nationally. BuzzFeed mm -hmm. yeah. has featured mm -hmm. you guys. I mean, this is something that draws a lot of folks. Yes. Um, so let's say people can't make it Friday night. Saturday it opens, and there is no admission, correct? Correct. It's free admission Saturday from 11 a.m. <clears throat> until 7 p.m. So okay. it's fantastic for everyone. And a great way to get your, your holiday shopping mm -hmm. started Absolutely. early. Absolutely. Or maybe you want to pick up something for yourself, um, right? That's <laughs> true. Well, and you guys mentioned having a young artists, mm -hmm. young makers, yes. mm -hmm. and you brought some of their items too. Yes, yes. So um, this beautiful um, net back, or what are they, fanny, fanny. pack, yeah. they're upcycled jeans. Fanny packs are back. They fanny are back. back. <laughs> yes. One of our youth makers, Corday Davis, makes them her um, business name is My Canvas, and they are recycled jeans that she gets from the Goodwill or thrift shops, and she makes these really beautifully well-made, like really, really well-designed fanny packs. Um, we also have our artist Hannah Jones, she's a high school student in Mount Lebanon. She makes these, and this is one of her pieces as well. She makes these beautiful um, animal draw drawings and uses a lot of color and texture. Um, the you can't really see it, but there's this beautiful uh, tie-dyed shibori dyed shirt down here from Hear Me Roar Apparel. She's our uh, she's a veteran youth maker. She was part of our um, inaugural group last year, and she got in again. Oh, that's and great. she makes these great great like female empowerment products she's a really really uh, great young lady that's fantastic and you and you brought so much more to just kind of show the variety mm -hmm. of different mm -hmm. things you'll be able to find there yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's also more than that there are activities for kids and yeah. music so tell us a little bit more about the lineup we actually have hands-on activities for all ages and they're free and so we have 16 different projects this year we really love to stress that the hands-on area is adjacent to our marketplace so you can shop you can select um, objects for yourself for your home for loved ones and then you can go and learn a new skill learn a craft and participate mm -hmm. in something that really reflects some of what you're seeing with the makers um, who you're going to meet. We have everything from um, making beats, so sound art with Fresh Collective from Ohio, actually recording your own hip-hop beats. When you um, said making beats, I'm thinking <laughs> like the, the food beats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't you never have. Have. No, we're making beats right. like music. So music. You guys have, are cooler yeah. than that. <laughs> we love beats, though. So. We have letter um, letterpress posters, so you're going to learn um, the age-old art of letterpress printing, mm -hmm. holiday wrapping paper and silk screening with Artist Image Resource, who's one, been Neat. a partner for a long time. Yeah.
yep. time, but really 16 different projects. And you can you can go in, drop in, then go shopping, then go back to the hands-on mm -hmm. activity area. And again, it's free for all ages. Th that to me is so incredible because you can learn something new. You're supporting local. So mm -hmm. why is it so important to provide free admission to this event? That's part of our mission is the the idea of keeping things accessible and and allowing ever anyone to come to this event because when anyone can come to the event and see what's happening in Pittsburgh it promotes this maker city ethos that we really believe in and this this small arts business um, and we you know we partner with a lot of maker spaces like proto haven prototype um, assemble Pittsburgh artist image resources and they do hands-on activities as well as um, help us with like for example prototype Pittsburgh is a feminist makerspace they were able to help some of our youth makers finish up their products That's great. so the idea of collaboration and inclusivity is incredibly important to our mission and music too we have, and we have live we have local we have DJs we have okay, we have four local DJs I'm also going to be doing a DJ stint at the end of the Look day yeah. and <laughs> so and and really we another thing that's important is we don't want to charge and we never want to charge a mission but this is really supporting the local economy Economy. We're putting money yeah. back into the local economy, right. um, into small businesses, into the artist businesses, and you're supporting all of these objects here are made by hand, and you get to meet each maker. You hear the stories, whether it's the shibori or screen printing or working with reclaimed materials, you get to hear the stories behind how that was made and mm -hmm. ask questions um, right right there and handle handle everything. It's very tactile. Well, and especially if you come to the Friday night yes. event, you yes. are going to keep supporting this great mission that you guys are on. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so much. So much. Get ready to shop, craft, and have fun at this year's Handmade Arcade. That's this Saturday at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Admission is free, as you heard. New this year, though, The Cutting Edge, a Friday night fundraiser for Handmade Arcade. That's from 5.30 until 8 Friday night. Tickets for this inaugural benefit event are 30 bucks. That's it. Get all the details at kdka.com slash PTL.